right, so what do we have here? A hyperactive little thing of his proximus. Oh, he's finally gonna calm down. And of course he's gonna look at me. This is a beautiful little guy right here, isn't it? These guys eat bugs and worms and slugs and things like that. You never need to worry about these guys being in your backyard. It is a blessing, actually, because they are nature's pest control. But, uh, you know, I love them. They're beautiful, and they are prevalent. The Thamnophis family can be found all the way from, you know, as far high as, or far north, that is, as uh, Canada all the way down to, uh, you know, Mexico. So, these guys have a big range as far as their family goes, not specifically ribbon snakes. But, uh, you know, anyhow, let's just go ahead and let this guy go. He was just crawling on the ground here, and so we'll just let him crawl off. So right here we have uh, what I believe is just a little uh, slider. Although it could be actually, looking at it, it might be a river cooter, but we're gonna find out. This little guy here. Hi. How's it going, dude? Now, obviously, you gotta contend with that, uh, that noise there from the plane, but I just thought we'd have to take a little look at my little fellow. Very nice. Look at this guy. He's beautiful, isn't he? His little claws. <laughs> Love these guys. Very beautiful. Anyhow, set him off and let him. Go back as he wants to there. <laughs> hey, let's see, let him fill the water. There we go. Gonna put him in a good little spot here so he doesn't. There we go. Should be fine there. Anyhow, I guess since I'm already in the water, I can look and see if I find anything else, huh? <laughs> Careful, don't fall in the water with the thumb. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing fish around here, but not not any uh, turtles or anything. <laughs> little dude is still just chilling over there. He's like. I'm a rock. I'm a rock. Uh, I'm just a rock. Uh, I repeat, rock. Mm. No need to look at me. I'm definitely not a turtle. <laughs> well, I don't see anything else. And, yeah, so I don't really see anything else. So, alright, so we just rolled this log here and found this little buddy here, didn't we? And of course, you're used to seeing these guys. This guy right here is our uh, little Echisterdon Contortrix Contortrix, which of course is this southern cobberhead. This guy is just beautiful, isn't he? Oh yeah, he is. It up against a log, I mean a tree, so we can actually focus in a bit. Yeah, look at this beautiful little fellow. Be nice. See his belly there. He really is this very beautiful specimen here. <laughs> Let's 
so I'm going to put them off the side just a little. There, oops. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Dropping two inches isn't going to hurt him. Roll the log back over. That. Oh, I. I see you, little pal. You're fine. Yeah. Just going to put him right here where you can see his log. You're fine, buddy. Go back to your log. He's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. There you go, dude. You just gotta give him some nice, secure place. Nice, secure place to hide out in. Might have something with this log. I never knew. And now we do know. Nothing. that there is actually a frog living in this log. It's funny, let's see. It's a frog. It's a frog. Very funny. Alright, trying to roll it, kind of... Roll it slowly for our little bud. There we go. Alrighty. Holy moly, that is a pretty snake. That is a dang pretty snake. Yes, it is. I love it when I find something like that. He's not too excitable yet. There he is, man. This one's got some nice color. It's too bad that it's so overcast, being that it's raining. But, uh, but anyway, this guy is beautiful. You guys are probably tired as heck of hearing this if you watch this channel all the time, but if you don't, this is for you. Um, you know, these guys are a Kistrodon contortrix, contortrix, also known as, you know, by their common name, as the Southern Copperhead. Now, they did have Hemotoxic Venom. Um, you know, these guys, uh, I mean, if they bite you, it's going to be very painful. It's going to... You know, it's going to cause nausea. I mean, it's going to cause things like, you know, you know, like slowness of breath and could even make your breath stop if you're not lucky, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, this guy's uh, demeanor, this particular one's demeanor, is actually quite good. He's just sitting here, very calm, and uh, while I'm filming him. Now, if you see these guys in the wild, do not attempt to engage them. You know, uh, the reason why I do is because I've been studying snakes for years, and, uh, and also I am quite aware that I am putting myself in danger when I do this. Uh, however, my experience does mitigate that, but uh, you know, there's always no one is no one's bulletproof and nobody's fang proof, if you know what I'm saying. So, now one thing not to is that you know, you could be allergic to their venom as well, and you know, and you don't find that out until it's too late. So, it'd be better not to engage these fellows in the wild if you value your precious life because you never know and uh, I certainly value my life and uh, so I do proceed with as much caution as I can while at the same time uh, my experience does allow me to uh, you know to engage them a little a little more personally than you might and uh, it's better to keep it that way if you really want to see uh, some up close and personal shots of uh, some venomous snakes well 
it's one that lives around the Texas area, or at least I should say the southeast Texas area, watch this channel, and then you can do that. Now let's see, as usual I want to put his log back, so the first thing you want to do is get this little fellow just as pretty as can be. Look at this. Isn't that a beautiful snake? Anyway, as pretty as can be, I'm going to put him right here. Right here beside his log without upsetting him at all. And he's just going to stay there. And then we're going to get this log here. Well, and we're going to rip part of off of it because it's rotten. Okay. Struggle with it a little more than we expected. <laughs> all right, so now we got the log back. And now our pal can go back. Oh, I know, I know, pal, but I'm getting you your log back, I promise. There you go. And there he goes. Right back where he belongs. <laughs> and that's how we do it. Sure was nice to see that copperhead again because, you know, uh, the last one we saw, last little beautiful fella, or less as that might be, that uh, was one of the copperheads that we saw on our last episode. So uh, that's one of the reasons I like going out to the same parts because I really like to study the uh, behaviors and habits and, you know, eating cycles and life cycles in general of uh, snake law. So I just found a real beautiful light colored, uh, light colored copperhead. So let's check it out. Just flip this log here and then this guy is just right here. Oops. This guy was just right here. And yeah, he is nice and bright. Wow, he's got some beautiful light coloration on him. Again, this is not, this is not uh, this year's baby for sure. It's not like a new baby or nothing. Doesn't even have a green collar anymore. Beautiful. So nice. Just gonna, it is so nice, but just gotta leave him nice and gently. Try to get a better look right there in the sun. Look how light and beautiful those colorations are. Just get a little better look at him here. Ah, uh, yeah, he is. Just look at what your eyes. Yeah, he is gorgeous. Don't you think? Just gorgeous here. He's a beautiful, beautiful copperhead, especially as light as he is. No matter how many of these guys I see, I love them. Put him back underneath his log so that he can go about his day. And there we go. Bye, pal. Don't let those birds see you. <laughs> All right. And there he goes. Nice. And don't forget to subscribe because I really need uh, some more eyes on this here channel, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't usually talk about it too much but you know when you like comment and subscribe it really does uh it affects the uh my youtube algorithm and uh you know and they will show it to more people and what i really want to do is i want to reach a thousand subscribers a thousand subscribers by the end of october that's my goal come on guys i mean you know almost halfway i need you guys to help me though so tell everybody you know uh, if you like these videos, subscribe and tell everybody you know about them and, you know, hopefully we'll get there. 1,000 subscribers by the end of October. Come on. You guys can do it.